Hello you beautiful people, Aaron here, back with another video. It's banner day everyone, this time Hu Tao and Nuvillettes. So let's just move on right through it. I'm working on a video right now and I want to get that done, but I want to do this one first. Also, I do know I did not do a Tartalia and Zhongli banner video. That's because I didn't have time and it was pretty bad, so I don't think anyone cared. This one's not though, so let's talk about it. As per usual, we'll be going over each segment first, the character banner, then the weapon banner. We'll be going five stars first, then four stars for each, and we'll be going in order of best or worst, in my opinion. So let's move on to the character banner, starting with Hu Tao. Hu Tao is a massive damage dealer who has had the best single target damage output since her release. She's a monster of a carry unit that can be used in a variety of situations. However, she has two main issues. One, her reliance on Xing Shou, and two, her charged attack spam playstyle. Her reliance on Xing Shou for almost any viability can be a major issue for some people who don't have or don't like him. He is pretty ugly after all, I would understand. While this banner does host Xing Shou, solving part of the issue, the other problem has not been resolved, as there is no all-around replacement for him outside of a C2 Yolan. The other issue is her largest, as it is the reason why most people that don't use her don't want to again. Her charged attack comes with a massive stamina issue, as she consumes it at an absurdly fast rate, leaving you open to retaliation damage or lowering her damage output from the lack of stamina and charged attacks. This can be remedied, but it's only through her first consolation, so most will have to put up with the issue or waste hard-earned primos to fix an issue in Hoot house base design. However, if you do get this single constellation, you will be rewarded with the best damage dealing unit in the game. Nuvilet is somewhat similar, as he is also a very powerful main DPS with a charged attack playstyle. He can also act as a strong hydro applicator driver support and a pseudo healing support character, which is a neat plus, or neat pluses. The only major issue he has is that he is incredibly susceptible to damage and being interrupted out of his charged attack. However, he has an incredible amount of upsides from the one stated above to being an on-field tank, acting as a decent battery, and he can even act as a support for the Hydro Traveler if you really want that. He's a king of all trades, as he can do everything very well, but certain specialists will do their job better than he can. There is also Fiorina, who's coming out next. We did just get a look at her kit, and she seems to be possibly even more broken than I initially thought they'd make her. So if you are looking for pure power, I'd say wait for Fiorina. On to the four stars, where we have Xing Shou, who is, in my opinion, the best character in the game at the current moment. He has a lot of damage, he has the fastest single target Hydro application in the game, he offers damage resistance, knockback resistance, and healing, he offers literally everything on top of being the best element in the game. He's just insane. But I've sung my praises for Xing Shou many times before, so I'm going to move straight on to Fischl. Fischl recently just got buffed, increasing her damage potential by about 20%. Considering the fact that she dealt comparable damage to that of 5 star main DPS units before, yeah, she's definitely the current best Electro character in the game in my opinion. This is all because she deals similar damage to Raiden, with similar energy generation, all of which being all field. What's not to love? She's a monster, and for some reason, she just keeps getting better and better. Dion is the last and the worst of the three, but I still see her as being one of the best four-star units in the game. Her shield and healing are great, she can reduce the damage enemies deal, and she offers a crap ton of other useful utility, including a massive elemental mastery buff at C6. She's a very powerful defensive support. Her only issue is that's all she does, which is not as valuable as a support that can also deal damage, or one that can mega buff their team, like Bennett. That's all we have for characters. Let's move on to the next banner, which so happens to be Hu Tao's worst weapon banner yet. While the legendary Staff of Homa is here, and is still one of the best and most versatile DPS pull arms in the game, everything else kind of sucks. Tome of Eternal Flow is pretty underwhelming. While it does offer a massive crit damage buff, it offers a lower base attack and its passive can't be used too often. Since most DPS Catalyst characters want attack and can't proc this passive effect, it will end up being on par with the Lost Prayer in terms of damage. It's generally not a great pick, but it can be for certain units if they do benefit from the passive. If you want to hear my full thoughts on this weapon, I will be releasing a video within the next few days on the new upcoming weapons, including this one, Cashflow Super Vision, the new gacha weapons, and the new Ballad of Boundless Blue, so keep an eye out for that. Onto the 4 stars, where we'll start off with the best, that being Favonius Lance. This weapon I have praised many times before. It's the best support polearm in the game, and still has barely any competition. It's insanely good, so picking more up will be beneficial. Favonius Codex might be part of the same weapon series, but it is the worst of this series, which is mostly due to the Widsith and Thrilling Tales just being much more valuable. However, that doesn't mean it's bad, as you still can find some use for it. However, the Doc Hands Assistant is pretty bad. It might be the first HP% percent 4 star weapon in the game, but that really only matters for Nilo. Its massive elemental mastery passive is, at the current moment, incredibly inconsistent, and will normally never be better than other options for characters other than Nilo. The portable power saw is similar, but even worse, since no one wants this specific stat spread except for Kaveh, who fits the criteria for this weapon almost
almost perfectly. However, this does not do enough for him to be better than Favonius Greatsword in team comps with high energy requirements, though it can perform slightly better in team comps with lower energy requirements. However, in general, it's just not that great and not that valuable. Speaking of bad weapons though, we have Fischl's Mitternacht Waltz. While it might have been made for her, it does not work well with her best playstyle. In fact, it works well with no one. This weapon is incredibly bad and should almost never be used, just straight up. All in all, the character banner is incredible. These characters are the best in their class, and it's a blessing that they're all here in the same place. However, this blessing comes around pretty often, so I wouldn't say there's much pressure to pull here. The weapon banner is pretty bad though. It offers nothing for anyone other than polearm units Nilo and Nuvillette. If you're not looking for a specific polearm or Nilo upgrade, I see literally no reason to pull here. The rewards are all around just pretty bad. But those are just my thoughts. Now I want to hear yours. What do you all think of this banner set? Do you think I'm wrong? Do you see value somewhere I don't? What do you plan to pull for? Tell me your thoughts in the comments down below. But now I will get out of your hair. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you all next time. Bye bye!